All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to the Solana family. As always, I um, you know, cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that you guys show me. But let's waste no more time, get right into today's topic and see what really is happening with the price of Solana and obviously, um, you know, the broader market. So if you're looking at the broader market, you know, Monday uh, wasn't the best day um, as we were anticipating. And again, if you do follow me on my channel on a day to day basis, you know, I do say that, um, you know, whales can come out and shake out, you know, the massive amounts of longs that are piling up. And that did end up happening. And of course we need to keep in mind today is the FOMC meeting and obviously that gives whales another chance to manipulate the price of Bitcoin and of course um, if you know Bitcoin has definitely uh, you know a correlation to the interest rates um, if you know uh, you know basic finance we would know you know what kind of correlation it has so you know if we were to see um, you know the interest rates unchanged i don't expect that you know bitcoin would see major major pullbacks might see a little bit of more shakeout you know whales coming out and shaking a little bit more uh, you know in terms of liquidation uh, but i do uh, still think that you know the price of bitcoin will reclaim back above 70k quite fast and of course um, you know if interest rates uh, do end up decreasing i'm projecting that you know the price of bitcoin will break out and we could see all-time highs very soon but with that said look across the market you know we're seeing pretty much a lot of red across the board uh sold down 2.9 percent with the price currency to get 154 dollars um, and also down about 0.6 percent in btc comparative over the past 24 hours but now for focusing on the market cap it's currency to get 71 billion dollars so, you know what you want to be looking at right now is that about nine billion dollars uh has gone out of uh, solana's uh, market cap i would say over the last two and a half weeks um and uh, the 24-hour trading volume is currently sitting at about 2.27 billion dollars but let's continue to take a look at what is happening but before we do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so starting off with this so shout out to solana floor as always uh, do follow them if you have not already done so on x platform you can see over 30 validators have been removed from solana foundation delegation program for allegedly performing sandwich attacks on Solana traders. And I, I'm really, really uh, liking how this uh, was dealt with. Yes, you know, they deserve to be, um, you know, removed completely because um, you cannot be doing this at the end of the day. It's just unethical. <laughs> but um, let's continue to take a look at what's happening. So you can, can see for the fifth day now in a row, Solana outperforms Ethereum in 24 hour decentralized exchange volume about 1.73 billion for Sol and about 1.69 billion for ethereum continuing to really uh put pressure on ethereum um and you know can't even put that into words anymore it's just not a surprise to me uh, let me know if it's a surprise to you in the comments down below i'm sure if you are a solana holder it might not be a surprise at all but do let me know in the comments down below you can see this for yourself jupiter exchange achieves notable success on solana position itself as a top aggregator across all chains total volume 208 billion dollars total swaps 377 million and total traders at 6.09 million this is insane stuff um, jupiter has done exactly you know what i've been projecting uh, it to do as a platform itself you know forget about the price for a second so for as far as the platform is concerned it's doing exactly what you want it to be doing and it's making massive strides as well you know it's not just limiting itself to just being you know a boring old uh, decentralized platform you know it's actually innovating it's trying to be unique it's trying to bring in so many other features that we have not seen a decentralized platform have um, usually you know people used to shy away you know I would say after you know Uniswap came out you know decentralized platforms really started becoming more popular to be quite frank with you you know sushi swap Uniswap uh, you know Binance chain but um, you know now what we're seeing is more and more people are interesting uh, interested in decentralized platforms of course 
um, that is how it's supposed to be done you own your own coins you own your private keys you're not trusting exchanges of course not everything is going to be on uh, you know decentralized platforms but um, I think it will get there at one point so I'm loving what uh, Jupiter exchange is doing and even after this bull market is over I still continuing to believe that you know Jupiter exchange is going to be massively used uh, you know by Solana users of course uh, let's take a look at what's happening so you can see nearly 45 million dollars has has been bridged from other blockchains to Solana, facilitated by DBridge Finance and Wormhole within the past week. Not a surprise to your boy Crypto ZX. And last but not least, over 112,000. Let this sink in, guys. Over 112,000 new tokens were created on Solana over the last seven days alone. This is absolutely madness. 100 and 12,000 you let that sink and that's a huge number and again as I've said to you guys before the meme coin mania on Solana is absolutely going crazy you know we're seeing a little bit of a pullback right now but this number is not coming as a surprise to me but let's take a look at what's happening with the dominance so of course dominance is picking up right now uh, due to Bitcoin still you know in the shaky end of the spectrum let's give it a refresh live to see where Bitcoin is currently sitting so 67 5 um, you know, we are, um, you know, about to retest once again the support line at 66.9. Maybe we will see that after, um, you know, this video is uploaded. So maybe when you're watching, you're already seeing Bitcoin sitting at these levels, extreme, extreme important levels. Um, but, you know, I'm really curious to see how the FOMC meeting goes. So do let me know in the comments down below what your personal projection is. But as far as Solana is concerned, let's take a look at what really happens to Sol if we do end up seeing bitcoin seeing uh you know more downwards trend could we see a 64 to support line being retested once again the possibility is definitely there if the support line of course around 66 9 does not end up holding so like i said fomc meeting you know um how it goes uh, what the conclusion is what's discussed in it um, you know is really going to um, you know have an impact in the immediate short term for the price of Bitcoin so let's see what happens so what really happens for Seoul in that case so if we're looking at the price of Solana right now we're still in the 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level we're above the support line at $150 per Seoul but let's take a look at what happens if we do end up losing the support I want you guys to understand you know we haven't really uh, you know been below the support line for I would say almost a month so you know we did obviously go back down to $120 you know when we did see that huge uh, you know pullback for the overall market but pretty much since then it's pretty much almost a month since you know the price was below the support line and right now we are very close to seeing that retest so if Bitcoin is able to see more downside um, in the um, few hours leading up to um, you know the FOMC meeting we could potentially lose the support um, you know and actually test some of these levels uh, depending on how much Bitcoin uh, pulls back so if you were uh, kicking yourself for uh, seeing soul sitting at 189 dollars well you're literally getting it at 150 dollars once again if that is what you wanted and that is a discount of about 18 almost 19 percent and if you were to retest the support that's a 20 percent discount from our um you know a may 21st high uh you know this what price target that we actually hit um, on the 21st so we're gonna take it one step at a time um, you know as far as uh, you know the bigger picture is concerned you guys know my overall stance on Seoul uh, but you know we need to be very very um, you know cautious as to what Bitcoin does but um, I think this is going to be short-lived as far as you know this uh, pullback that we're seeing with BTC even if you we were to see more downside I think it will be short-lived um, because you know we're in the bullish end of the uh, spectrum as far as the market is concerned but again only time is going to tell let me know down below what you guys think love you all see you tomorrow open crypto zx and peace out